Welcome back. If you're new here, we're Nick and Anna, full-time travelers that move to a new country each month, all while working our nine to fives. With so much of the world that we haven't seen yet, we have a lot of content to share with you. This week we're in the UK, specifically the Cotswolds, which is about two hours outside of London, making it a perfect little day trip outside of the city. If you like what you see here, we'd love it if you subscribe to our channel and follow it along. Without further ado, the Cotswolds. To jest piękny. To jest piękna. Nie, nie tak. Teeny tiny village. I would bonk my head on this. Just yeah. <laughs> Decided to make Anna walk up this hill. We're not going further. We're like not this. going all the way up. <laughs> There's, no There's way. nothing else there. This is just like a little tiny baby street, I think. Just get the view with all the people. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine actually living in this village, like no. with all of these people, just like I staring do. at your house and taking pictures of your I mean, house? It's like too. If you think about when we were in South Africa, like the people that live in Boca. Oh yeah, it's the exact same thing. I would. This one. Would... I wonder if like how many people are actually currently living in these houses. Yeah, like it's beautiful, but I I don't think you could pay me to live here. This is insane. Look at all these people. <laughs> This nice little river flowing through here. It's like a little stream. Pretty nice. What do you think? It's full of mosquitoes. It's full of mosquitoes, yeah. very small. You literally just saw the whole entire thing right now. Yeah, it took us maybe like yeah. 10 minutes to walk through it. But it's really cute. It's like an old little medieval village. Also it seems that there's a wedding going on over there as well. Yeah there's some high stress uh, chats with from the bride it looks yeah, like. I think we saw the bride yelling at her mom and stuff. So. Typical wedding stuff. <laughs> but it's cute. Quick stop. Now we'll be on to the next town. Yeah, I think we gotta hop back on the bus here in the next oh, like 10 minutes. Bugs, I can't. <laughs> what happens when you get out of the city? <laughs> Look at these cows! Hey! Oh, these ones are cuddling. Look at them. Mr. Cow! They're cheek to cheek. Well, I have never seen cows this close before. This one's got little bangs on their head. <laughs> I got little bangs. Should have my bangs down today. It's not a phase, Mom. Hey, this is a trout farm. Do you know what trout is? Yeah, it's a fish. Okay. Of course I know what trout is. Come on. <laughs> Just making sure. Okay. Okay, so we're not going to go to the trout farm because it's like nine pounds and we have like ten minutes. So, trout's for another day. We don't have any food. I have no food for you, sir. He wants to be a star. Okay, so we've stopped in the fantastic little town. It looks a little bit more lively than the one that we were just in. The fantastic town of Burford. He's so annoying. Well, I'm annoying? <laughs> no, there's like little shops and there's food and stuff. Well, there's a whole giant Street. Like there's a whole giant high street, yeah. but she said like back in the day this used to just be like a giant long market street, but now it's just filled up a bit more like modern. Yeah. 
I think this is a little bit more exciting than the one that we were just looking with this yeah, town that we were just shops. in. I think it's just a bit bigger. It's just cute. With all the ivy. Oh, look at all the ivy. Oh my god. I think gosh. we're here at like the perfect time. Here. Yeah, I think so too. I think we found the right place. Should we stop here? Sweets, treats? Let me look at the options first. Okay. <laughs> we found another bakery, it looks like. Look to see. Oh, it's cute. Look. Okay, this is our third bakery we're going into. Okay, check. This Which is the one. one? Are you? Jam or cream first? I'm a jam first, but by accident. First. <laughs> this looks way more promising. I want all of them. All of them? Yes. Just no. one, of, one of everything, please. <laughs> we did not get a fruit scone, which comes with cream and jam, but we ended up getting a savory one. I think it was cheese and spinach. Yes. Which comes with butter and chutney, so. And we got some other sweet treats and coffee. I haven't had one today. Have you? Oh yeah. When? I had one before we left, like. The disrespect. When you wake up early, that's what you get, man. Some people have husbands who make them coffees okay. that they wake up to in the morning. I am not one of those no. women. <laughs> Okay, the first sweet treats that we got, Nick and I got a lemon poppy seed cake to share. And then what did you get, babe? I got this, like, birthday cake cookie. It um, kind of reminds me of, like, those milk bar truffle cookies yeah. that we used to order yeah, back home yeah, in yeah. Chicago really all got, the time like, on GoPuff. Yeah. 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 yeah, looks cute. Nick, what's your go-to coffee order? This is my go-to coffee order. It is a black Americano with very minimal sugar in it. It's I think not, it depends what mood you're in. It's not coffee unless you can taste how bitter it is. Look at the heat coming off of that wrap. Ooh. And then this was the savory scone that we got. So we had there also is butter and chutney. Yep. And then I just got a nice latte. This looks so good. Yes. Did they warm it up? No. No? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Okay. Should we do a butter packet per half? <laughs> Cute little jar of chutney. Mm, that's good. What kind of chutney is this? I think onion. Okay. I'm going to go at the back end because there's more like filling on this. I don't know if this is going to piss people off because I feel like a lot of people will start eating a cake from here. I'm different. It's good? Yeah. Frosting's a bit sweet, but it's good. <laughs> What'd you get there? Um, well, surprise, surprise. Everything was so sweet that I needed to get more savory, so I just got a ham and cheese croissant. I think it's ham, what was it, ham cheese, and then like bechamel sauce. Yeah. But lunch was good, but it's time for some cheese. Let's look. Yo, there's a lot of cheese. There's so many different things. Look at all of them. Good Lord. How much of this are we taking home? I don't know. I'm very overwhelmed. There's so much. Oak smoked garlic. So Anna and I are real suckers for a uh, charcuterie board. We love like just cheese and cheese crackers. Like that's what we eat for dinner sometimes even. Yeah. Yeah. Big fans. So this is definitely our store. Before like girl dinners became all the trend, we just did it all the time. Yeah. Just eating charcuterie and cheese yeah. for, for dinner. Lunch and dinner sometimes. <laughs> So we decided against getting cheese. That's because we still had several hours on the bus, like driving around and then going back to London. And I figured I'm not gonna be that person that brings some sticky ass cheese on the bus. Yeah, that's probably so, the move. To all the people on our bus, you're welcome. Okay, stop number three. Still on the Wold. Another quaint English town so far. 
a lot of hills on this town. You're really out of breath, aren't you? I am out of breath. <laughs> There's definitely more hills in this town than there was in the okay. other ones. Gotta burn calories. We gotta burn our calories so we can have more sweet treats. Sweet treats. Find me up. Yeah, this place is nice. It's really cute. The weather's like perfect today too. Although it is overcast, so your eyes be hurting. Yeah, so if you see me squinting in any of the footage, I promise I'm not mad. My eyes are just so sensitive. Yeah. I like all the buildings here. They're really cute and pretty. What do you think, babes? Yeah, I think so. We did a bit of walking around the town in the square. We are hungry now again, so we decided that we're gonna stop at the porch house. Let's check out what kind of food we can get. All right, okay. well, that was a bunch of bull sh <laughs> Never mind. They're not taking walk-ins anymore, but literally I think there were three tables full of people, and they're like, you can come back at five. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's three hours. <laughs> look, at, look at all these tables up, and even outside. Okay, so that was a bit of a fiasco. We did end up actually getting food uh, at this place called the King's Arms. I in, in, inhaled the fish and chips, so we did not record it at all. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're <laughs> sort of running out of time here. We're supposed to be back in the bus in like five minutes. Five minutes, so we'll still be on cutting time. it a little close, but we'll be fine. Yeah. So we made it to our final place that we're visiting today, which is Chipping Camden. We're gonna take a walk around just like we did in the other towns, but there's a big church that we're gonna check out here as well. So let's, let's go. As you would say, it's the juxtaposition. Of what? Of the monster in a medieval town. <laughs> it's just monster in a medieval town. Yeah, crossing the way. Okay, well let's watch out for cars first. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, okay. Look at how tiny this door is. Hey, I was like, no, I don't think I could. I don't. I think <laughs> I would even hit my head. I think this one's smaller. This one? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the church was a bit of a hike from where we started. These are still houses. The church is over there. I know. The church is like this one <laughs> up here. Up here. We're still not there yet. Babe's getting a little tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Okay, so other than thrift shopping, this is one of the big things here. The church. The spooky graveyard. Ooh, it's so spooky. Oh, the chairs are so old, you can't even read them. Thanks so much for joining us today for our trip to the Cotswolds. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. We actually got this tour on Get Your Guide. We'll put the link down in the description below. Makes it super easy if you're not renting a car while you are here in London. We're able to see four small villages within the Cotswolds. Just from London, it wasn't super expensive. No. Don't have to worry about driving or renting a car, so I can't complain. But thank you all for joining along today's adventure, and we'll see you next time.